Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another weekly tip video. Following on from tip 920, in this weeks tip I'm taking a further look at the new Synology Drive app that may be a potential cloud service replacement for many people. Now whilst we have Dropbox, iCloud and many more cloud-based services, Synology Drive allows you to create your own cloud-based service on your own hardware, a Synology NAS or network attached storage device. Check out the previous episodes on the Synology NAS to get a better idea of how a NAS works. In this tip video I'm going to demonstrate using the iOS client as well as setting up a team folder if you want to share data between a team of people. Now you remember back in the previous tip, tip 920, I set up a synchronization task to sync my Mac with my Synology Drive and this is the result. I have a movie file in the Synology Sync folder and a folder called Processed which contains a lot of JPEG files. So let's go over to the iPad and take a look at the iOS app. I've already downloaded and installed the Synology Drive app onto my iPad. You can get it via the App Store, just do a quick search or use the QR code as I demonstrated in the previous video. But let's go ahead and run it for the first time. So if I click on the icon, uh, some information about privacy, we'll just continue. And then we need to go in and put our details in. So I'm going to use the Quick Connect ID that I used in the previous show as well. Uh, the account, I'm going to use the Don account and my password. We'll leave HTTPS switched off and I'll just click on the arrow. But I'd like to save the password and I'll say not now. And as you can see, there is my Synology Sync folder. If I click on here, there is my processed folder with all the various JPEGs. I can click on one to open it directly using the uh, app interface. I can also swipe across to see the other photos in the list. Tap on the photo to bring up the controls and then tap on these three dots. It gives me a pop-up menu. I can add a star. I can share it with someone. I can send them a link. I can select it for offline access. So if I do that, just click on there. That will now be downloaded to my local iPad and I can have a look at that whenever I want. I can apply a label. I can also move it within the folder structure as well. And then below that, copy to, rename, send copy and delete. And there is also an information button. If I click on the information button, it gives me creation time, modified time, owner, etc. But we'll just go ahead and say done to that. And we'll come out of here. So to change the view, I'll just go across to the three dots. So I've got list view, thumbnail view. I can select individual items or sort by. So if I go ahead and say thumbnail view, and also let's go ahead and say select. So like those two. And then down at the bottom, again, options to start a label, to a move, and also to delete. But we'll just go ahead and say cancel. And we'll go back out a level. And back to our main folder. If we click on this hamburger menu here, so this is a direct replication of the information shown in the sidebar of the web interface. So my drive, uh, team folders, currently no team folder set up as of yet. We'll have a look at that shortly. Shared items, recent, starred, offline access, recycle bin, and background tasks. If I go down to offline access, we'll see that photo that I selected before. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit screencastsonline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.